you've clicked on this little video, it probably means you want to have a go at making your own steamed puddings. Now, since writing the book, I've made a few discoveries. And so do watch this video through because it'll make making the puddings so much easier and quicker. First of all, I say use pudding tins. You can also use ramekins. That's the first thing. The recipes for treacle sponges, you can use jam, you can use lemon curd, you can put fresh fruit in the bottom, it's up to you. The recipe is exactly as it is in the book, it's the method that is so much easier and so much improved. Now then, in the book, I tell you to preheat your oven to 100 degrees. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees, degrees because we're going to be able to make them much, much quicker. And the other thing is, once you mix the, the mix, you put it all in the bowl together and you put it into your tins, grease your tins with lining paste first, but you've got your mixture in your tins. And in the book, I say cover your tins with greaseproof paper and secure that with string. Absolutely no need. Just put your mixture in, put them in the casserole, pour boiling water on, and then put a lid on and put them straight into that hot oven for just half an hour, not an hour like it says in the book. Um, I came across this purely by accident. I was rushing and I thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna put them in the oven half an hour, I'm not gonna cover them up. And there is no condensation dropping on your puddings as there would be if you cook them in the conventional way in a steamer. Anyway, enough of me going on. Um, I'm gonna show you on this little video how to do them the fast, furious way. And the delicious. I've got here six mini pudding tins you can use ramekins like i've said i've brushed them with lining paste and i'm putting in about a tablespoon of golden syrup in the bottom of each one you can use lemon curd you can use jam or you can use fresh fruit pure puree the mixture is mixed all together and then i use an ice cream scoop to divide between the tins put them in the bottom of a casserole tin and then i'm pouring in boiling water to about an inch up those tins make care, be careful you don't splash your puddings and then on with the lid and these will cook in the oven for 25 minutes and i've had to suspend one in the middle can you see because there wasn't enough room to fit it in the t in the pan but you have got the most perfect beautiful easy out steam sponge pudding in about half an hour and uh, you can do a full size pudding as well and that will take probably about 50 minutes steaming it this way but um, this is an all-round comfort food kids absolutely adore it and um, yeah it's a winner 